Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying whole numbers and fractions with models. This is standard 5.3i in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it and then we will look at our answers together. So Dorinda worked for three weeks. The shaded parts of this model represent the fraction that she had each week from her home office. This is gonna be very important. This is our key. So we need to find an expression to use the, to find the number of weeks that she worked from her home office over these three weeks. Now, this might seem like it's a little bit confusing, but let's break it down. So our key is very important. This is a full week, right? So this is gonna be our one whole but we also see that our one whole is broken up into a fraction. See, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so there we go. That makes sense. Seven sevenths is our whole because there are seven days in a week, so I guess each little box represents a day. So that makes sense. We've got one whole. It's the week she never worked an entire week. Each week, it looked like she worked the same amount. She worked one, two, three, and that's four more, so that's seven. And that's another three sevenths, and that's another three sevenths. So if we wanted to, right, we could just add them up. Three sevenths plus three sevenths plus three sevenths. But that is not one of our options. But take a look at what we have right here. Each of these three are exactly the same. You could say they are equal groups. And maybe you saw it when I lined them up for addition, but this is a repeated addition. So if these clues aren't enough for you, let me tell you what we're gonna need to do. We are going to need to multiply. Whenever we see equal groups, that gives us a clue. It's gonna be multiplication or division. And we can just repeat this addition, three sevenths plus three sevenths plus three sevenths. We get also multiply. So that's going to be what we need to do. Let's see what that addition actually looks like. Let's do that over here. 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. We use that as our basis to see if we can get our multiplication correct. When we add fractions, the denominator needs to be the same. So check, it's all 7. Then we add straight across. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. We do not add 7, 7, and 7 to 21. We just keep it as sevenths. We also need to go ahead and that's a, an improper fraction. Let's make that, make that a mixed number. We're going to divide up. So divide up means our denominator goes into our numerator. 7 goes into 9 once. There's 2 left over. So that's going to be my numerator. 1 and 2 sevenths. So that lets us know that she worked about one and two sevenths of a week. Which of these would get us there? Well, three plus three, four, I'm looking at A. Three sevenths plus three sevenths plus three sevenths would work, but three, four, I'm not even sure where this three fourths is coming from. So this is at least got the three sevenths and the three, but we don't need to add the two, right? That would just get us three and three sevenths. So three plus three sevenths, that's pretty simple. That gets us big three, mixed number of three and three sevenths. We're looking for one and two sevenths. So that's not going to work. Here we go. We could do three times three fourths, right? Three times three fourths. Now when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. You do not need to have the numerator or denominator be the same. But the problem is, is we've got no denominator underneath one. So we could make it three over one and we can multiply, we would get nine fourths. Oh, it's so close, but look, the denominator is different. We're looking for a denominator of seven. Pretty sure that's not it. Let's see what D gets us. Yeah, look at that D, three times three sevenths. Any whole number could be turned into a fraction by making it over one. Multiply straight across, you get nine sevenths. There we go. See, that's what we're looking for, that nine sevenths. So our answer is going to be D.